guaranteed people we're going to be looking at our first silver chair tune which is madness frankly i loved these when they first came out um i still love them now actually and marvel at you know back then it was insane that they were 15 when, when they released the album i don't know how old they were when they wrote it but um yeah 15 man and um yeah it's still good now i just love this tune it's brilliant so we're gonna smash through it game tone <laughs> Um, and these pickups are pretty hot, so um, they're quite high output pickups. But anyway, on with the riffs. So intro goes like this. And then you're into the verse, right? So let's go through that. Got um, an A. For a bar, then a D chord. And then this little rundown. So let's do it slowly. The first two measures are. And you pretty much repeat that twice. As per tab, right? And the only difference is at the beginning of the second phrase, he plays a power chord. There's actually a G, an open G there. I don't think I played that in the intro bit, but there we go. Now, if you're desperate to play that G string, then I would just take all my fingers off. And then you fret the D chord for the next phrase. That's some pretty standard arpeggiation but it's got a really nice sus4 um, pull off so third fret on the on the top e abandon that and then you want your second and first fingers on the third and second frets that's on the a and d first fret on the second uh, fret on the a and then the G and the open D. So that last bit slowly. Now into the verse and we've got two options pretty much for the second half of the uh, phrase. Here's the first one. again so those are the two versions right it's just an a power chord to a g to a d5 and then this or little lick right lovely stuff rhythm for the a part down, up, down, 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 up, down. Then to the G. Down, down, up. To the D5. All open. And then that lick. vibrato okay so those are the two options basically the only difference is you can either do a double stop third fret second fret on the a and d you can either pull off both of those or just one and then you do that you just move those two fingers down one one uh, string or single note stuff right third fret pulled off to the um, open a and the, the third fret on the e so that's it slowly and around you go 
go. Hit the distortion. <laughs> I'd written that when I was 15. Damn, that's good. So you do that three times, and the last time you play. All right, and then you're into the pre chorus. So it's straightforward, but it's just heavy as you like, isn't it? So you've got um, an A chord. A5, and then two chugs, and then two whackers, and there you're playing uh, B5 with the F sharp in the bass, right? So 2 2 4 4 basically from the low string. And you slide that up. Uh, one fret, right? But you've got this. Another couple of whackers in there as well, right? So slowly. Then you've got this wicked fill. So cool. Um, basically, a hammer on. So five seven five seven five zero. But because you're um, already fretting the third fret here, right? There's kind of a, uh, a grace note slide. So you get that effect, right? So again to speed. Etc. Man, I've stopped myself. I will play that all evening. Then we've got the pre chorus bit, which goes. All major chords, right? This is just basically if you if you were playing the full chords, you'd be playing. basically mimics the same chord progression as you get in the chorus next but it's a really cool way of building it up so you've got um, just the top half of this major chord okay with those noodly parts so you're gonna play down up to wax but I do those as I'm traveling up. Okay, and then you're at the or 10th fret there, I guess. And you've got that fill, which is 12, 10. And you've already got that, that 10th note on the B string held. Then you do 12, 10 on the uh, B string. but with the chord held. So I'm just using my little finger there. And then you play the same thing again, but it's just eighth fret to 10th. Identical, right? And the chorus, which is immense, goes like this. So good. The singing in this is just incredible as well. If you've never heard this, then you must check it out. It's just amazing. I'm sure you all have. But anyway, chorus. Down, up, whack, whack. Okay. This next chord is like a D sus two with 
A in the room. So it's five, five, seven, seven, five. So bar the fifth fret, put your third and fourth finger on the D and G string, right? And the rhythm is down, up, down, down, up, down. Then you go down two frets with the same uh, rhythm that you played in the first um, bar. But with some distortion. Good. The whole tune goes around again, but I think the next second chorus there is this fill. <laughs> All right, so that's the first fill. It's four on the um, C chord, then a rest, and then four again. Rest, two, and then a, two whackers. Okay, slowly. And then the second fill is... Five on the C. That's it, slow, right? Five on the on the C. Semi quaver row, sixteenth note rest, and then eight on the D. And two whackers. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that one. We'll do some more silver chair because they're brilliant, frankly. See you again soon. Cheers. Bye bye.